How's it going everyone? In this video I'm diving in Cornwall again, but this time I'm in Senan Cove. Senan Cove is actually a surfing beach, but this week the conditions were perfect for diving. I hadn't planned on diving this area, but as the conditions were so good, I couldn't help but leave the family on the beach and go and get in the water. I didn't know what to expect at first, but once I got in the water, I was greeted by perfect visibility and lots of small fish were coming in. Promising signs, but nothing big enough to take. I wasn't out for long on the first day, and on my way back in, I see this low bass that I decide to take. It turns out it was a lot smaller than I thought it was, but a perfect size to be cooked whole on a barbecue. The next day, I was really keen to get out further and explore new areas in hopes of finding larger bass. On my first few dives, I dive on this sort of kelp graveyard and then immediately I'm surrounded by loads of small bass. These guys were so friendly and curious and I just completely forgot about spearfishing and was just enjoying the moment. A few dives later, I come across this quite large wreck. It offered really cool structure from where the hull and the metalwork had eroded away over time, and there were lots of holes for me to have a look around in. The structure held all sorts of marine life. I was seeing lots of sea anemones, wrasse, bass. I caught this brown crab. This crab is a female. You can see that from the shape of her abdomen as it's quite short and broad. I'm a good hour into diving at this point, I'm lovely and relaxed, and on surfacing on this dive I wasn't expecting to have a close-up encounter with the RNLI. After realising they're coming straight for me, panic sets in and I start pulling my float in. After a confusing exchange of hand signals, I establish they want me to go left, and then I swim off in that direction. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Now, let's get back to the diving. continue exploring the shipwreck. I'm having a great time doing this, although in the back of my mind I'm very aware that I still haven't found any fish of shooting size.
towards the end of the session, I find a small group of bass that are larger than the others that I've seen. These guys weren't massive, but they were just over the legal size. And at this point in the day, I just wanted to come back with a fish, so I decided to take one. Annoyingly, I didn't get the next dive on camera. I thought I pressed record, but I clearly didn't, which is really frustrating. It was a really cool long shot as well. I was so annoyed that I didn't get it on camera. Not exactly massive, but still a beautiful fish nonetheless. Now that I've got what I've came for, it's time to turn around and head back to shore. I do all of my cleaning and prep by the sea, which I think is the best way to do it. All of the waste gets returned back to the sea, feeding other marine animals. Oh. Senan Cove is a great place to dive and I definitely want to come back again and shoot some bigger fish. Anyway, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.